Hey everyone, KIC here, and look at this. Kenneth the barkeep has fallen from the sky. He is in extreme pain, and he's just gonna die. Okay, so back on a more important thing. This last episode got attacked. There's some bodies lying around, some various weapons, food, all that sort of good stuff. And Oz, this is now your chance to get a helmet on that pretty bald head of yours. Okay, I need to find out, does everyone have an armor vest at this point? Yes, everyone does. Everyone has a parka. Good deal. There's a couple exotic good traders around. And here, you know what? Um, hmm. Let's just go ahead and do this. Go ahead and shoot that guy. Shoot him till he's dead. Good job. Because we don't take prisoners alive. Unless they're cannibals, in which case we'll gladly take them alive. But otherwise, we don't take them alive. Optimist, neurotic, is that it? Just two? Huh, okay. Well, whatever. Nose, um, I want you to do me a favor and haul that. Bluebird, haul that for me, please. We can go ahead and unforbid that. Ooh. That will sell well. And Bluebird, go ahead and haul that too. Because as soon as the nose gets back here, I think that's enough stuff for now. There's still a couple things lying around, but let's go ahead and call the exotic goods trader and get a boatload of cash. And I should apologize if I sound a little funny or if I have odd pauses like right there. I was sneezing a lot, so I was trying to hide it. I'll edit it out of the video, so don't worry too much about that. Button down shirt don't really care about. Would kind of like to keep that helmet, I think. I've been keeping the shotgun just because I've considered hunting with it, but eh, what's the point? Let's see, Lee Enfield. I think there's two M24s around, so they haven't gotten around to hauling all of them. There go all the parkas. That's where all the money comes from. Don't need that. Uh, you know what? I'll leave one extra armor vest on the slight chance that we get a cannibal to join the colony, which I don't think is going to happen. So I wouldn't mind getting some bionics going here. The nose already has one. He has a bionic eye. Wouldn't mind getting him... Uh, well, not necessarily him, but someone... Maybe Bionic Leg. Let's go ahead and... Let's buy... No, not those. I don't want sculptures. I want... No, not eyes. Let's grab a couple of legs. That'll still get me a little bit of money here. And do I have anything else I can get rid of? I'll hold on to that Lee Enfield for the moment. Um, let's go ahead and toss the Synth Thread Jacket. I'm not going to wear that. So that'll get me about a thousand silver and a couple bionic legs. And geothermal is finally done. Okay, so let's see. In the last episode, I was kind of building an enclosure over here, which means I need to go ahead and finish this off now. So let's go ahead and drop one more limestone wall there. And Oz will get around to that in the morning go. He's going to grab some breakfast. And then he will grab some blocks. And he's going to run out there. And look at that. He didn't even get himself stuck inside. I thought he might. VF Travelers. Ooh, Slave Trader. Slave Trader. Potential. You never know. One can be hopeful, right? That's what I'm telling myself. Okay. As soon as you are done grabbing that wood, I need you to make a call. Call the slave trader. Okay, let's go ahead and get this done. Rose, the minstrel, what is your deal? Hmm, nervous and trigger happy. Ooh, Ali, chef. Eh. How about Radaballo? Eh, nothing. Well, I could buy some overpriced medicine, I guess. Eh, it was worth a shot. Oh, that entire thing is now... 
and closed. I didn't realize that was going to happen. I thought it might, but I wasn't sure that it would. You know, for now, maybe I will keep it enclosed for now. Because, here, let's go ahead and open that up. Theoretically, this is going to be heated as this geothermal power plant comes online. I might have to vent this out somewhere. I'm, I'm not entirely certain just yet. We'll see what happens here. Oz, you must have the largest bedroom in the history of man because this is all open right now. You know, I'm kind of thinking I'd like to go ahead and call the exotic goods trader back and get rid of... Well, I really don't have that much to get rid of, so I guess it's not a huge deal. Now, something I would like to do, let's go ahead and get a stockpile going right there and right there. And let's clear all of this. Let's set it to weapons, ranged weapons, M24, and that is the critical pile. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I want those M24s accessible. And maybe I'm going to regret bringing them inside. But the idea is, as soon as I need them, because I will be besieged at some point, I can just go ahead and grab them because I know where they're at. Nose, let's go ahead and call the new trader that just arrived. Dark Eye the Death Jack. I don't know what a Death Jack is, but it sounds impressive. He can't do anything except shoot, melee, and research. Ah, huh, political assassin. Interesting. Okay. Doesn't help. Ooh, Stench. That is a great name. And Stench is terrible. And so are you. None of these guys are cannibals, so... Nope. Ignoring them. So who's going to be the best character to give legs to? Let's take a look at them. I'm kind of thinking it's going to be whoever my best shooter is. In that case, it would be Bluebird. Now, the reason for that is I kind of want whoever my best shooter is to be able to move around quickly. But I should probably get her some other bionics, too. Problem is, she is the best doctor. Now, I don't know how much that matters when you're talking about attaching bionic parts, but hmm, I'm kind of hesitant to throw it on her when she's the doctor. And if she's the doctor, she shouldn't necessarily be out there shooting, but I just don't have many choices since I only have three colonists. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll think about that one a little bit more while I'm kind of letting stuff get situated here, but let's go ahead and Let's pop a limestone door in right there. That way I can kind of enclose the bedroom off again. Now, one thing I will do, once I kind of have everything a little more established here, I'm gonna to have to run power inside. And then I'm going to probably double this off. And I might even enclose a little more space. Combat supplier, don't really care too much about that. So this should generate some heat at some point here. I don't know if it's going to generate so much that it'll get uncomfortably warm. Hoping not, but you never know. All right, Brio of Buffalo is attacking. Let's take a look at, wow. Let's take a look at them. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that there's seven of them, but I just wasn't expecting there would be seven of them. Slowpoke Brawler, Sanguine, too smart. Too smart, careful shooter, careful shooter. Slothful Pessimist, Icy Skin, Psychically Dull, Optimist, Prostophobe. You are all trash. Oh, I forgot about Kenneth. Well, at least he won't spoil. He has good gear on him, too. That'll sell for a good chunk of change, I think. Uh, where is everyone? Bluebird is busy making meals. Okay, so let's go ahead and, since I have not yet hooked anything up to the geothermal. I gotta turn stuff off so I can turn these on. And Bluebird, you go ahead and just get yourself a fine meal and go to bed. And I'm a little worried about how this is going to go. These guys aren't always bright, and they will sacrifice themselves to destroy these things. Uh, hmm. 
Maybe I should actually go stop him. Oh, he was stopped. Good deal. Okay, so turrets will take care of this just fine. Again, this is not a proper kill box. I know that. I don't know that I will make a proper kill box. I... Ah, nice throw. I'm just kind of going with this for now. Here, just for kicks, let's go ahead and give you an M24, even though you are a terrible shot. And let's go ahead and let you uh, just start taking pot shots at him. Maybe you'll actually hit someone. I can be hopeful, right? <laughs> ah, nose, you magnificent, magnificent talker, you. That was awesome. Here I am decrying his shooting ability, and he just pops that guy right in the... Let's see, where was he? Where was he hit? Maybe he didn't hit him. Hmm. It sure looked like he did. Oh, must have taken his leg off. That's what he did. He shot the dude's leg clean off. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Well, let's replace that turret yet again. Clearly, that turret is not in a good spot because it keeps getting destroyed. Ah. C'est la vie. Okay, so, Bluebird. You are going to get the ugly work of stripping all of these guys, which I apologize for, but, well, you probably should be kind of used to it since you're usually cooking them. Let's turn this stuff back on. I would like to go ahead and get the geothermal power into the colony, and this is not necessarily the most efficient way. This is just getting power inside. I'm not, I, I don't think I, I don't feel like I have the luxury of doing things in the most sensible manner just because of having only three people around. I just feel like I have to really move at a fast pace and I just don't have time to, to stop down and do things in a way that makes the most sense. It's all about doing things quickly. Go ahead and strip him before you go to bed. Thank you. And I'm going to wait until morning before I call. I don't know why. I'm just going to wait until morning. I was thinking maybe someone might decide to move something, but nope. Not so much. Okay, Oz, where are you going? You are... You're building. I don't really want to interrupt that. Okay, Nose, before you go do anything else, just go ahead and... It helps if I select the Nose. Go ahead and haul that. And then... I want you to haul one more thing for me. Go ahead and haul that parka. And then come inside. And I'm sure you want to eat. I'm sure you are absolutely hungry and you deserve to eat. Let's go ahead and call the exotic goods trader though. Let's go ahead and get some more money. Armor vest, uh, I'll go ahead and sell one of them. I said I would keep one. Sell the parkas, sell the tribal wear. Sell the tribal wear, pila. And military helmet. Uh, let's keep that for now, because I think I think the nose could. Hmm, I think he could use that. So let's see. Simple prosthetic leg. Nope, don't want those. There's really not much else I want from this guy. Let's just make sure. Ooh, construction neuro trainer. Yeah, I forgot to look at neuro trainers last time. I'm only going to have. A little over 4,000 construction neuro trainer. That's not a... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy that. Let's go ahead and buy the neuro trainer. Let's do that. I got to remember how to, how to use those now. And who is going to get that? I think I'll give that to Bluebird. No, I think I'll give that to Nose. Take that back. Let's see. Nose, what are you wearing? You are wearing a cloth toque. Okay, so let's go ahead and get you a military helmet. Go ahead and wear that for me, please. Thank you very much. And nose, while you're at it, let me go ahead and just have you melee attack that dude. Good job. You can be undrafted now. And I want to let's see, is it through this? Is that how you do it? Hmm. No, that's not it. What is the... 
do you just go use it? Maybe that's it. I don't remember. Bionic leg, where is it? Is that it? That's not it. Where is the neuro trainer? What does it look like? Hmm. I'm not entirely positive what I'm looking for. Did I not buy it? I must have bought it. There it is. They got hauled in. They get hauled in here? Didn't get hauled in there. Okay, why can't I see it? Where are you hiding? Neuro trainer, where are you? Someone is screaming, it's right there, wherever there is. Uh, where are you? I don't know where it is. Okay, well, let's see what's in the wreckage really quickly here. Looks like silver. Yep, ignoring that for now. Should check on those alpha beavers. They actually, hmm, they haven't done as much as I thought they would. They must have run off. Because you're a squirrel. Yep. I don't know, where did they go? I guess the alpha beavers went away. I didn't think they went away. Hmm. Okay, whatever. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to complain. Okay, so the exotic goods trader is leaving. There. Is that it? That's not it. Where is that stupid thing? I guess I should do this the smart way. Here, let's do zone, stockpile. We'll do something like that. You are going to be clear all. I think you are under, not, hmm. Are you under manufactured? Nope. What are you under? Neuro trainers. Make you the neuro trainer pile. And you are critical, so someone go find the neuro trainer and throw it in there for me. I think Nose has it. Great. So, Nose, you learn construction. And now, ah, uh, seven. Not bad. So he went from three to seven. That's what it says right up there. I can read. Good. He can actually be somewhat useful for building now. Okay, and let's just see. What are we looking at for power here? Got 4,000 watts of power to spare in the system. Not too shabby. So I'm going to do something that I haven't really experimented with this much, but I kind of want to do it just to see how it works. I'm going to do... Oh, where do I put it? How about... I'll do one right there and one right there. And here, let's just run power straight through like that. Blue Jay. Let's see what Blue Jay is all about here. Fast Walker. Ah, why can't someone be a cannibal? That would be really super helpful, but no, that's fine. I think what I should probably do too, since this turret over here keeps getting destroyed. I should do something and let's do something like this for now. No, nope, wrong spot. I don't really know what I'm doing over here. I'm just kind of dropping stuff down and hoping it works out. Let's do something like that for now. Okay, you guys need something to do if you are idle. That is not good. Well, if that's the case, here, let's go ahead and I need more blocks. That is a definite necessity because I still need to double up some of these walls. And technically, I don't even need these wind turbines now, but might as well keep them running. It doesn't hurt. Okay, so let's get that going. And then I would like to also get started on... Let's do something like... Hmm, how do I want to do this? You can go double that side. And then I kind of would like to mine some of this stuff out and really open it back up, like open it up bigger. Ah, no electrical devices. This is not a good time to be raided. So please, 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 Cassandra, no raids, which means I should have a raid coming any moment now and I would be hopeless to defend against it. 
That's the one big problem. Don't really care about eclipses. Don't, at this point, care about fog. Speaking of eclipses, solar flares are going to be my downfall. Or my own stupidity, either way. Come on. At least you guys can work on building walls and cutting stone blocks while there's a solar flare going on. Kind of taking a look at my food reserves here. So 11 simple meals lying around, 5 fine, 6 package survival meals. So they're okay on food for the time being. And I suppose I can unfor un unforbid all this stuff. Rebid? I don't know. Um, what do you have? Eh, stuff. I could sell you your stuff anyway. Let's see, what are you coming to do? Uh, you're hauling steel. You're making stuff. What are you doing? You're butchering. Before you butcher, go ahead and strip. Oh, now you're going to eat. Now you're going to butcher. Okay, good job. Don't want to lose the extra money from the parka, etc. Okay. Well, at least the flare passed without being attacked. That's a good thing. I mean, I half thought if I could get through five episodes, I might actually make it a little while, and here we are. Not to say that I'm going to get through five episodes, but I'm trying, darn it. So my double wall is done over there. Let's go ahead and mine that out a little bit, just because, why not? And then I kind of want to open one of these somewhere. I'm not sure how exactly, but I kind of wouldn't mind doing that just to see what happens. Uh, knows you're going to go to bed. Okay. Well, as soon as you wake up, I have work for you. Ultimate Industries. Yeah, I guess that's one way of saying it. Before you go mine, let's make a phone call. Elix the Surgeon. Nope. Schmidt the Shipwright. Nope. Terra the Housemate. Nope. It's kind of funny because they weren't bad. But... Well. Now the idea with the lamps over here is to give everyone a bit of a bonus, at least at night, when being attacked. Light is a good thing. It helps you to see... And when your targets are illuminated, well, you can hit them a little easier. So that's kind of the idea with that. Exotic Goods Trader, you are nearby, so let's go ahead and let's have you make another phone call. Nope, oh, wrong one. Call that one. I don't have much to sell, but I do have a little bit I can get rid of. Um, keeping that one just because I'm delusional and think I'm going to get another cannibal at some point. Uh, yeah, 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 not much. Another, I could get another neuro trainer. Hmm, cooking neuro trainer, yeah, I don't really need that. Another construction one wouldn't hurt, but I'm just going to be good with that for right now. So let's see, what do we have Nose doing here? Let's go ahead and give you, let's give you constructing as a secondary job. And you are going to have one as well, Bluebird. Just because I really don't have enough for them to do right now for what their jobs used to be. I know this is definitely not the best way to do things right now. But let's just go ahead and run the wall out like that a little bit. And I'll let them work on that. At least the nose can help out and go at a reasonable pace. He's not going to be entirely slow. Bluebird is not going to be much of a builder, but better than nothing. Hey, look at that. Some gentle snow. Still think I should be raided any time now. Not that I want to be, but it's going to happen. Look at that. Nice, gentle snowfall. That's pretty nice looking. I like that. The plan, just to kind of give you an idea here, is I think to maybe go all the way across here and maybe right up there, and then probably something along the lines of, ooh, winter has begun. 
drop down here, come across that way, and something like that. Maybe, yeah, somewhere right in there. I don't think I want this to be inside the colony. Since you'll get folks landing where your beacon is, I don't want that inside the colony. Not that it's necessarily in a better spot over here. That's not it. It's just I don't want... I don't want a dropship unloading a bunch of soldiers right there. When right there is actually right here in the middle of my colony. Even with a bunch of turrets. Just seems like a bad idea. So I never did give this guy power. I should probably do that. Let's run power this way. That way I can run it through the building. I'm not going to have to worry about power on that one. Can go ahead and turn you off. I don't need you on right now. And look at that. Bluebird started it and went to bed. Good job. Because I always like to start projects and then go to bed. Go ahead and get some more blocks going. I have gone through quite a few. I know there were some marble blocks somewhere. Over here, maybe? Yeah, there they are. That had fallen in a cargo pod, but eh, don't really need those. So I'm going to go ahead and let these folks get to work on this stuff a little bit more. And I will catch you on the next episode. So thanks for watching. See you later.